Hello and welcome to the blog of Screaming Death. I'm Roger Francis. We're here live on set with crew and production team at this marvellous location, the Manor House. I'm here today with the very talented Troy Dennison. Hi Troy. Hello there. Can you tell me about your involvement in this project? OK, um, predominantly I'm the writer and director of the first story, The Lady in Grey, but I've also done uh, costume design, set design, and producing the um, necromancers for story two. So you've had a really large involvement in the whole of the project? Pretty much from the get-go. I mean, we started on this in 2012 while we were still working on checking in. So does the project have one boss, or is it a joint venture between all of you? How are you working? With Cushy and Dave being in charge overall as the producers, we lean towards them for direction and leadership, but it's a very collaborative effort. Everybody has an equal amount of say in what goes on. Are you aiming for the audience to be scared? What is the sort of reaction do you want when our audience watch this film for the very first time? What we're looking at, I mean, me personally, across the board, we want them to be scared, but we also want to touch them on a variety of emotional levels. You know, we want them to be happy about certain aspects of the film we want them to feel elated by it we want them to be terrified we want them to go on this wonderful roller coaster journey in all fairness now the film it's not just set in one time period i, I know it's across various time periods right. so what sort of challenges is this going to give you well we start in the elizabethan era we've got world war one we've got the 1930s we've got world war two we've got the 1970s and we've got modern times not forgetting 1888 uh, so we've got Fortunately, this wonderful location, which offers us a great deal of scope across all those time periods because it's 700 years old. But we also got to rise to the challenge of incorporating all these nice costumes for each era. We've got to make sure the set dressing works for each era. So it's effectively making four completely different films. Now, we're here today at one of the locations, which is an absolutely, uh, behind me you'll see, absolutely fantastic. It is. This is the Manor House, which is set in West Brom. And over the centuries, people have reported all sorts of creepy sort of presences, yeah, it murders. Is the third most haunted building in the West Midlands, so... Now, teams have actually come in this place and recorded, I believe, ghosts actually on the presence of camera. Do you think that is going to affect the working practices when your group come in here and actually do a film surrounded by these presences? We actually had to put it on the risk assessment. Really? Seriously. You, you, you had to tell everyone that it could be a problem when filming because of the ghosts? Yeah, especially for the fellas, because the one doesn't like men could push them down the stairs. That, that's quite worrying. OK, Troy, thank you very much. I wish you all the best of luck and uh, we'll follow your progress with the film as it progresses. Thank you. Thank you. Log on to Indiegogo and you will see as part of our rewards many exciting possibilities for you to get involved in House of Screaming Death. We have Blu-rays, we have DVDs, we have the chance for you to get credits on the movie. In fact, we've even got the chance for you to have your very own part in House of Screaming Death. <laughs>